cook. I think we, we have this need and this want to gather around the kitchen, whether you're alone or a partner or a big family or whatever, and actually cook. And I think one of the problems that we have is that we hate the prep. So, so many of us, because prep is so arduous, we won't try a recipe, or quite frankly, we'll just run through a drive-through and go, well, okay, just eat bad stuff. Well, we're going to change all that because we're going to make prep the easiest part of cooking in your kitchen. And I love it. I actually have the original model of this. And the reason that I bought it, and I bought it months and months and months ago, is because we're downsizing and I didn't want and don't need all that equipment to cut something. When I saw this, and this is actually an improved version, I fell in love with it. And then the price is crazy good. So if you have anybody who cooks or anybody who eats, this is going to be a great gift idea. I've got all six colors, which is pretty much a miracle job because we didn't, <laughs> I didn't think by now we'd have all six. We've got the really, really plum, pretty plum. Here's the red. This is gonna be your silver. Up here's gonna be your black. This is blue and this is teal and you get three drums attachments with it, which John will explain in just a second. And John, I just saw you whip through that cheese I very quickly. <laughs> it's happened so fast. It did, it did. <laughs> well, here, I'll tell you what, I'll put the bowl back in front here and show you again. Here's an entire block of cheese. I tell everybody, if this is all you use this machine for, instead of using one of these old four-sided tin can things to grate your cheese, where I call them knuckle busters, yeah. <laughs> because when you get close to your fingers, you take off a half a knuckle. Uh, with this machine, your fingers never get close to anything sharp. All you do is turn the handle on the back of the machine. And you'll notice it's got a chute on the top that the food goes in. It, we also give you a pusher, so it feeds it down to the end. You'll never waste anything. You can't cut yourself. It's just the better way, it's like the better Mouse trap for the kitchen. I 100%. Mean, if yeah, you look yeah. at this, I mean, here's two two complete blocks of cheese that was done in I, I don't know, seconds. like ten seconds. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so quick and easy. You're going to use this machine for all kinds of fun things. Like you'll grate potatoes for potato pancakes and hash browns, sharp cheddar cheese, Parmesan cheese. You can grate carrots, coconut, chocolate, zucchini for zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. Uh, I mean, it grates everything but you. Safe, fast, and easy. If you're into salads. If you're into cooking, you need a grater in the kitchen. And for two bucks a finger, I mean, I'm looking at this it's going... It's 100% worth it. I, I, is it worth it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not even if you love to cook. If right. you hate to cook, yeah. you need this in the kitchen because you'll then get excited about it because the prep's not well, so, yeah, so hard. Yeah, cooking doesn't take time. It's the prep the, the that takes prep all takes the time. Forever. I mean, and don't that's you why think, we call this the speed grater. But don't you think a lot of yeah. people don't cook at home simply because the prep is so arduous? Absolutely. Right. And a lot of people have a hard time using knives and things like that. But right. with this machine, you can do all kinds of fun things. Like, I mean, if I took, I'll tell you what, if you have an air fryer at home, here, I've got I some do. bread. All right, I'm gonna take a, a, a slice of bread. In fact, here, I'm gonna take a hamburger bun. And soft bread, okay, <laughs> oh, here, I'll put another one in there. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, this is so cool because you can make your own panko. All you do is turn the handle. Look at this. Oh, Fresh stop Fresh bread it. crumbs for your uh, stuffing, for, uh, <gasps> for uh, if you're into, you know, any kind of breadings. Uh, look at this, and done literally in seconds. And that was just a couple of old, those are fresh though. I mean, you can but use like stale leftover. bread, toast, if right, you like. Leftover, right? In fact, here, I'll throw some Oreo cookies in here. All right? <laughs> I mean, you can do all kinds of fun things with this. Make Oreo cookie crust. You can actually do Oreos for an ice cream topping. <laughs> or here, how about this? How about graham crackers for graham cracker crust? In fact, before I do that, I gotta show you this. <laughs> I, I get so excited. You do. Because all you do to change out the drums, because it comes with three different drums. Now, this is the coarse drum, okay? And this is the one that I just used for uh, the cheese, okay, for uh, your cheddar cheese. If I want to use a Parmesan or Romano, something harder cheeses, you like, this is the fine grating drum. This is also the one I love for, uh, for making your crust. Here, I'll put this bowl back in front here. Okay. I'm gonna grab that handful of graham crackers because for graham cracker crust, and this isn't just like one or two graham crackers here. I used to watch my grandmother do this with a, a paper bag and a rolling pin. <laughs> <laughs> So the rolling pit, yeah. Look how crazy that is. I mean, is. graham crackers for graham cracker crust. You can take a handful of saltines for a chicken, fish, or meatloaf uh, dinner if you want to make your own breading. 
All you do is Show put them through favorite. the machine. Hey, you can use all, hey, hey have some fun. Do Cheez-Its. Uh, uh, we did a, a chicken dinner. The kids came up with this one. They, they wanted Cheez-It crust on their chicken one night. We did this. I'll tell you what, it's like giving your tongue a sleigh ride. It's amazing. <laughs> the kids loved it. And then the following week, they, they said, Dad, can we do Doritos? You know, the Cool Ranch <gasps> cool Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos on <laughs> yeah. chicken? I mean, it's oh, well. so much fun. In fact, this year for, uh, for Thanksgiving, uh, we did a, uh, a pumpkin cheesecake. And normally I'll use a graham cracker crust, mm -hmm. but this year I did ginger snaps. Oh, stop. All right, look at this. You can make your own ginger snap crust for pies, for baking. I mean, it does way more work than those electric expensive machines. It takes absolutely no time to set up and clean. Yeah. It's not like those big heavy food processors that have eight well, million that's parts. That's what drives me crazy. And we invested in this really big crazy food processor. I used it the first time and I was so over it right? after the first use. <laughs> and I could never figure out which parts hooked to this and that. You guys, this is simple. Cheese. And you know what I love, John? It takes a sliver of space in my cabinet. I can, yeah. I can take a picture of exactly where mine sits. <laughs> right? I do in my kitchen cabinet because it takes up no room, and yet it works like some of the most expensive food processes are yeah. out there. Now, John, I do have to give an update. I don't know yes. if you saw the numbers. No, I haven't. So we just flashed up in the bottom of the screen. Here it is again. Ready? What are we at, guys? We're at 58,100. Wow. Now, the, you know what? That's only been in, what, maybe a week or two, um, right? Well, we yeah. About two uh, weeks, yeah, right? Yeah. In a couple I mean, of airings, two I mean, it's weeks. Been, now, they go so fast. Well, a lot you know of people. Why? Will, people are buying like five of them at a time. Oh, it's the greatest for, gift. For $20, $20 gift a month. For that if you've just got that oh. gift exchange at yeah. work and you're like, okay, a $20 gift, whoever gets it, that'll be the one that'll be stolen over and over again <laughs> right. in the exchange. This is the way to go. And I think that is why we've sold so many in just a couple of weeks. Yeah. Now, a little heads up everything we have in stock right now is what we have in stock for the whole holiday season. So don't wait to the last minute. John, I know people yeah. will watch and they'll go, oh yeah, that $20 I was, thing. I was just and talking it'll be totally to the buyers. Sold out. They were saying it won't be, we won't get any more until at least mid-January, maybe even February. Really? Yeah. It's going to be that so long. It's gonna wow. be a while. Here's some white chocolate. Now, I just did, I'm, I'm doing this on the fine grating drum, okay? And I gotta show you this because it's so simple to set up and clean because, Suzanne, let's face it, if a kitchen tool is hard to clean, we never use it. Did we just exactly. talk about the, the, the processors? The processor. they, you probably have one. You spent a few hundred dollars on, it's probably out in the garage on the top shelf because they take tons of room and you bring them out dur during the holidays. Right. That's the one and time you're it's still frustrating to Yeah, <laughs> I know. But watch how easy this is. Now, the pusher comes out, the top comes off. This back here, here's how you change out the drums. There's a little knob on the back of the handle, okay? That's what attaches to the drum. So what you're gonna do, all of this is dishwasher safe, or you can just rinse them out by hand in the sink, okay? But what the, the way it works is that, that handle attaches to the back of the drum, and then on the inside of the machine, when you turn the handle, that drum spins around. So you can see how easy it is. And what we've done at Kitchen HQ is we've listened to, this is our 2.0 version, I call it, okay? With the new suction base, okay, with the way it's works is you're gonna put the top on, you're gonna turn the little collar on the base, and it suctions down now solid to any countertop or tabletop that's smooth. So if your kitchen tabletop, or maybe your countertop in the kitchen, all you do is turn it and it locks down. So it's not gonna move. Now, I'm gonna, then you pick the drum that you're gonna show, that you use, and I'm gonna show you the, the slicing drum now. Put it in the machine, screw that little knob onto the back of it, and you're done. You're ready to go. And now you can slice, well here, how about cucumbers for bread and butter pickles, or cucumber salad. You can put a salad bowl, a frying pan, or a measuring bowl in front, and look at this. Nickel down carrots for canning, you'll slice beets for pickling, and I'll tell you, you can do just about anything with this machine. Here's a couple of carrots for stir fries. All you do is put and turn that handle, and then with the pusher, your fingers never get close to the blade, so you can't cut yourself. Here, I'll tell you, come the holidays, we're gonna be doing a bunch of celery, mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily the easiest thing to cut. No, because it's so stringy. Yeah, all you do is turn the handle. Do you Here's know celery's actually celery. burn out some good food processors because oh, yeah, they couldn't of the handle strings. it. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Yeah. Three stalks of celery with no strings attached. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bummed. <laughs> and everything comes out of the front of the machine into the bowl. Oh, try this too. You can do, if you want to slice maybe just one radish, drop it in the top of the machine, turn the handle, you got a sliced radish. If you want to do a handful of radishes, you can do a whole handful because that new larger chute holds a ton of food. And all you do is turn that handle, you got radishes done perfectly. And oh, by the way, Check this out. Here's something you're gonna love. I'm oh, gonna take some garlic. Smart. You can do this right into a frying pan. And I'm showing you with the slicing drum, but 
I can show you with this one too if you want to see it. It's pretty cool the way it comes out of there. That's great. But look at that. There's like a dozen uh, uh, cloves of garlic sliced perfectly for, for sauteing. That's perfect. And again, here, here, uh, you know what? Here, I'll show you the radishes because it's so easy to, to, to clean out and set up. You just change out the drum, put the little handle on the back, and here I'll put the rest of the radishes in here or the, no, the garlic. Uh, uh, garlic in here. I know. I guess. Hey, listen, it's after nine o'clock. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> Look, all you do is turn the handle, and you've got uh, minced perfect garlic. minced garlic. I'm going to put my finger in here so you guys can see this. Look at that. That's Perfect minced crazy. Garlic. <laughs> Is and how that much cool? do you spend for a jar of minced garlic? <laughs> I know. Like, you're now gonna, you can yeah, do it yourself. And over and over and over again. It's not just one jar. All right, guys, let me show the colors again, John, real quick. Okay. So we've got six colors available. I have got a, a little update for you. I know the red's the most limited now. So if you want the red, don't wait too much longer on that one. <laughs> so here's the purple, the red. We're calling that one the silver. This is black. This is blue. And this is going to be your teal. You get the three different blades, so the cones that go in it. Just remember, with almost 63 thousand of these sold we do have lots of people get more than one because guess what it's everybody my son who's in college he lives in a house with a bunch of guys he could use this i got the original model because we're downsizing and you know what i don't need all those appliances anymore and quite frankly i didn't use all those crazy food processors because they were just too cumbersome they were too big they were too much and they were too hard to put together this is simple and you know john literally i love <laughs> the fact that it saves space it takes oh, yeah. no space in my cabinet you can put, you can take it on a camping trip if you like. Yeah. I oh, mean, sure. Here, look at this. I sure. just did a half a dozen eggs for egg salad. You, you imagine, can do a pickle wait, can in you here. Imagine if you're camping and, and you'd uh, make hash browns, fresh oh, hash yeah. browns hey, while listen, you're camping. If you have a potato, put it in the machine. You can make hash brown potatoes in. Lit, well, well, how much, wait, did you blink? <laughs> I mean, that's how fast it happens. And check this out too. Here, oh, it does I want stuff you to do this one too. Do. Here's a wet a bowl of wet mozzarella cheese. I want to cheese. show mushy. Hey, if you've ever made homemade pizza, try this. You're gonna love it. I mean, it does. Again, I always say for two bucks a finger, if all you use it for is cheese, <laughs> it's, you'll love it. Here's a block of cheddar cheese for, taco for tacos, <laughs> enchiladas, burritos, tostadas. It's like a hurricane of food coming out of that machine. I mean, really and I'll tell you, is. for two bucks, for twenty bucks, it's a gift of palooza. <laughs> I mean, it, you can have stocking stuffers for everybody you know. Yeah, I mean, and, seriously, and you know how you get them one gift and then you think you should get them like a little something extra open up? <laughs> this is that great, they'll actually talk about this gift oh. more than they will the $100 I gift know. you gave them. Here's some peanuts <laughs> and almonds and walnuts and cashews. I mean, here's some M&Ms. <laughs> the kids can make their own ice cream toppings. I mean. <laughs> Isn't that a blast? How much fun is this? It, no, it's, I love it. You know I love it. All right, we're going to wrap up on this, guys. Again, stay right there. Go to .com. It's a couple clicks. And think about getting multiples, especially with five, with five flex on it. No, six. Do we have six flex on that? Six flex? How do we have six flex? It's wow. $3.33. I'm so sorry I missed that. That's wow. great.